One thing I will say about pushing to a remote registry is that you don't have to use the Docker Hub registry. Indeed, GitHub has its own uh, container registry, GHCR, which stands for GitHub Container Registry, I believe. I'm going to be using Docker Hub because I've already got an account with them and I find it really easy to use. Anyway, this is the place that you need to come, hub.docker.com. Entirely optional if you want to follow along with this. If you don't want to create an account, then by all means, don't create an account. But I will say about Docker Hub or any kind of registry is I found it really useful. Say, for example, you put together an image, a real custom one, which you use for specific projects and use cases, and you find it really handy. Say, for example, you're then working on another computer in a different environment. It's just easy to go, go and pull down your image from the registry and just start working straight away. So uh, really good for productivity, I find. And the way you've got to think of it is just like a remote repository like GitHub or Bitbucket or whatever, except specifically for containers. Okay, so I've already got an account, so you don't need to see me set one up. Let's go over and start building an image and then pushing it to the registry. Now, one of the main reasons that I'm doing it is because for production, like I said in a previous recording, I don't want to be building my images uh, this way. I basically just want to get them from a registry and build the container like that. And so here we'll target this one. What I want to do is build an image from this docker file and push it to the registry this needs to be a production image so i am going to be targeting the app build and not the app dev build the first thing i'm going to do is make sure that i'm logged in so that i can push to the registry the way that i do that is docker login hyphen u and then my username it'll ask for a password Okay, and so I'm logged in, and this means that I can go ahead, create an image, and then push it up. Here is the command that we need, so docker build, so we're going to build the image. We are targeting the app stage of the build, and we are tagging it as Gary Clark PHP Composer. So the 1.0 is the tag, and this is the repository and the name of the image. The docker file that we're going to use to build it from, so we need the dash f to specify which file, and it is in PHP docker file, basically this. And then our context, where are we building from? We are building from the current context, so I'm in the very top level, the project route. Okay, let's hit enter and build that image. That all seems to have gone smoothly. If I run docker images now, hopefully I should be able to go and find that. So I think somewhere near the top. Okay, so here we go. Gary Clark PHP, no, that's not the one. That was a practice one. This is the one. Gary Clark PHP Composer. And as you can see, I've tagged it with 1.0. And so that means that our final command is to actually push that image. This is the command that I need for that. Docker push, and then the name and repository for the image and also the tag. So if I hadn't give it a tag there, what it would do, it was it would look for a tag of latest, but we've given it the tag of 1.0. Let's hit enter. Uh, do a load of this stuff. Okay, great stuff. This is the tag for our image. Let's go over to Docker registry, sign in and see if we can see it. So I'm gonna sign in, that's my username. So I've already got my password. Okay, so as you can see, here are all of my images. Let's click on this. Gary Clark, PHP Composer, tag of 1.0. And uh, just having a look around the page just to see things of interest, we can see that if we want to push a new tag, it actually shows you what to do. Docker push Gary Clark uh, PHP composer and then we just give it a different tag name. So remember your tag names, they can be numbers, it can be letters or a combination of both. You'll see Alpine quite a lot and that means it's like a lightweight minimal image with um, not much software already installed. As a small addition to this one, it's not really related but it seems as good a place as any to drop this in here. Thought I'd point this out to you. I've added a new folder, a tests folder. I've kept the uh, coding there very simple it's not for demonstrating testing it's just to demonstrate how we can automate running the tests when we go and complete a pull request with this repo so very simple tests that I've dropped in there and the other one other thing 
that I've dropped in is actually the configuration. So the phpunit.xml uh, file. So you can find those both inside of the app folder. And then I've created a test folder inside of there and a phpunit.xml. You might see this here, phpunit result cache. I've actually get ignored that, so you won't even see that in your repo until you actually run some tests. Okay, so yeah, just thought I'd mention that.